this is Angelo Lubugin. Um, we'll present uh, for uh, our group, which is group 10. Our proposal is the CCTV computer tracing system. Background of the study. Uh, to understand and know the IATF guidelines under pandemic, uh, CCTV monitoring, and last is the bus terminals. Um, we make sure to understand and know the IATF guidelines uh, for us to know the what data should we should be inside our system and for cctv monitoring um, we also study the background or other research for us to come up with this idea the bus terminals um, we also know um, the foot traffic of uh, terminals for us to uh, make it possible to install cctv Uh, the following will benefit the study. Uh, first, uh, we, the humankind, uh, the terminal operator, and the government. Uh, the humankind will benefit this study uh, because um, they will know the capability of this system um, that it will make them secured. Uh, the terminal operator for us to have to strengthen the given guidelines of IATF and then the government for to help them fight a uh, COVID-19 pandemic. General problem, IATF seeks people's attention to always follow their guidelines for the past eight months, uh, people experiencing social ending. Ito yung pakiramdam na parang masanay ka na sa pandemic. Parang sum, ano, labas ka na ng labas or uh, hindi ka na masyadong susuot ng face mask or face shield. Uh, it is really hard to discipline people to follow their guidelines. Uh, for example, uh, physical distancing or wearing face mask. Uh, objective of the study. Um, this research aims to help the bus terminals or the companies to strengthen the given guidelines of IATF and can also lessen the number of COVID-19 patients. Um, that's it. Um, we make sure na mas mapapadali ang pagbabantay sa mga tao para magkaroon sila ng uh, masabihan sila or ma-warn them kapag lumalabag sila or hindi sila sumusunod sa guidelines ng IATF. Project scope and limitation. AIDS and crime prevention. Uh, aid to strengthen the guidelines of IATF. The bus terminals also. Uh, for now, um, bus terminals yung target namin since um, ito yung medyo maraming foot traffic. And also, um, one of the scope is to AIDS and crime prevention um, at saka para ma-strengthen din yung guidelines ng IATF kung napafollow ba nila yung mga procedures, yung tamang um, distance, magkakaroon tayo ng um, possibility to um, monitor them. This analysis, this is... Uh, there are two types of risk analysis, I think, uh, qualitative. Um, here, um, I listed all the pa probable costs na magkakaroon kami ng problem in any cases. Uh, for example, uh, the risk name is the COVID-19. Uh, COVID-19 pandemic can cause delay. Uh, the risk category for that is the natural. A uh, risk type is threat. Uh, probability na mangyayari is 3, the impact is 4, and the risk score is 12. The probability na mangyayari is 3 because um, napakataas ng chance na magka-COVID yung mga 
gagawa ng project na ito. So, ang impact nito sa project is 4, which is high pa rin, syempre. Ang risk score niya is 12. I will show you the computation or teach you. But so, quantitative, for example, COVID-19, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, threat, a probability in percentage is 55%. Um, impact kung magkano ba yung mawawala for example is 68,000 then expected value is 37,400 as you can see uh, the impact is 68,000 the expected value is 37,400 SWOT analysis the strength, weakness, opportunity and threat uh, the strength is to inspire us to help the government fight Ting the COVID-19 pandemic. And the weakness is higher cost of the budget for CCTV installation system design and monitoring. Um, opportunity uh, for the new normal aim is to endorse a tighten guidelines and security in other establishments. Threat is a social ending that's getting used to this pandemic that they doesn't care of the situation. Okay. Human resource management. Uh, responsibility assignment matrix. Um, uh, we'll just explain the uh, R A C I responsible and the accountable, consulted and informed. For the responsible, uh, he he or she will handle all the given task, and the accountable um, that's um, who will do the task. Okay, and the consulted ito yung sila yung mga uh, tao na manghihingi ka ng konsulta kung tama ba or ano yung ginagawa mo. Inform is to let them know what you are doing para in any case na magka-problem ka, uh, they know. Project Development Methodology. Uh, we use waterfall model for our proposed project. So requirements, analysis, design, coding, implementation, testing, operation, deployment, and lastly, maintenance. Data flow diagram, as you can see, on the admin, then uh, proceed to log into the full system of monitoring, CCTV system. Response, stop, in charge, log in, same as the employee. Actually, pare-parehas lang naman na mas may intindihan natin tong data flow diagram once na ipakita ko po sa inyo yung uh, running system namin mamaya po sa dulo. System features can store huge number of data, uh, security, and strengthen the policies. Proper monitoring and data integration. Um, dito, uh, dahil sa system na to since web, uh, web based siya, uh, maaari ka makapag-store ng maraming data. Sa security and strength in the policies, um, yung IATF kasi nagbigay siya ng guidelines sa atin. So, yung system na, na connected sa CCTV, meron siyang database na uh, nang nakaka-access lang is yung mga employees under the bus terminals and also the operators. Proper monitoring and data integration. Since uh, we are collecting information, um, we are also based sa mga sa Data Privacy Act and also yung proper monitoring kung talagang monitor ba yung mga reports. Um, mas may, malalaman natin yung system features natin once na ipakita ko yung system mamaya. And then the summary, uh, preventive measures, uh, dito natin nakikita na mahalaga na talaga na ma-prevent yung mga crime or yung mga lumalabag sa batas or yung nakikita agad ng CCTV na hindi siya nakawear ng face mask and also hindi sila sumusunod sa physical distancing. Uh, strengthen the guidelines, um, which is ito yung mga binigay ng IATF na guidelines para mas ma-monitor natin yung mga taong labas-pasok o yung mga bumapiyahe sa isang bus terminals. 
uh, you have the choice of taking proactive stance when it comes to securing your homes, your businesses, and your country and your future. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it. Recommendation for the government. Uh, nanaway mapalawig pa or magkaroon ng chance na mabudgetan para gawin din sa ibang establishments. Uh, for companies or the bus companies or any terminals na umahandle, yes, uh, we recommend this uh, para magkaroon ng uh, strength security. For the future researcher, uh, maaari nila mabigyan o magkaroon pa ng mas magandang idea or mapalawig or may upgrade ang system na ito. Conclusion, uh, due to increased terror, terror's crime and COVID-19 cases, the use of the video surveillance camera system is increasing. So therefore, um, dahil nga medyo lumalala yung mga cases or mga crimes, nagkakaroon ng tumataas na, ano eh, na chance para gumamit tayo ng CCTVs or video surveillance camera. References sa na ginamit namin is uh, coursehero.com, Classroom, Open Pinoy, YouTube, Demia, Script, and Tutorials Point. That's it. Uh, we'll show you kung paano po gumagana yung system namin. Um, bali, ito, ito po yung home page namin. Um, ilalag in ko lang po yung sa operator namin. Dito po makikita yung positioning ng camera and also kung saan. Yan, pwede kang mag-report. Yan. Makakapag-report tayo dito kung sino yung mga lumalabag sa guidelines. Ah, itong camera's location, yan. As of now, uh, we, wala kaming CCTV pero ito yung um, maaaring ano, may kita. Maganda to kung meron na. Kung meron connected na. So, yun. Um, hindi ko na isa-isa yan. Um, next is yung sa administrative. Yan. Sport, operator, yung mga reports niya, audit trail, report keys. Yan. Meters profile, yan. Terminal 2, saan bumiyahe, ano yung tracking time niya. Yan. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you so much and God bless. Keep safe.